सो यू कैन टॉक नो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन नाउ प्लीज कन्फर्म दैट माई वॉइस इज क्लियरली ऑडिबल ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच आई एम स्टार्टिंग माई सेशन so i am guiding one project to you people right now please uh, confirm that my screen is visible or not so today i am also going to guide you regarding some basics of deep learning technology guys basics of deep learning technology just a second just a moment guys i am opening my ppt now please confirm my screen is visible now okay and now i am going to guide you a good technology today that is called as a deep learning technology now please concentrate very carefully i am going to guide you now it is a very interesting and it will be helpful for you people okay guys now i'm starting my session so our today's topic of the session is generative ai large language model and a deep learning technology okay this is our topic today okay let me make it entire slide from starting so this is our topic today we are going to learn the basics of deep learning technology which is going to help you in future a lot i don't know that have you heard this topic before generative ai generative ai means generative artificial intelligence technology very interesting technology now let's see that how we are going to learn the generative ai before starting the session i would like to tell very important thing to all of you what is that important thing always remember one thing whenever we people are doing any or learning any topic in the market whenever we people are learning any topic in the market so don't directly jump to learn that topic then what to do before learning that topic always do the pre analysis of that topic in that pre analysis of the topic you should ask the three questions to yourself what are those three question the very first question you should ask yourself is that what is this topic about and why it is so much famous in the market 
second important topic you should ask yourself is that why all the multinational company small scale company and a government organization are using that topic and why there is a necessity to learn that topic guys third important question is what are the skill set required in order to learn that respect to technology and after upgrading those skill set what is an opportunity for an individual like us in terms of job in terms of research and in terms of startup and i am going to guide you all those three in the very easy way now let's go ahead in the world of generative ai topic and how it come in our way generative ai means it is having the three word generative artificial intelligence now what is the meaning of that generative ai means it is going to generate the data and what kind of data it is going to generate the image like this generative ai is divided into two part generative and ai so generative means it is generating the data in terms of image video audio text music and other data so in this part it is generating the data actually okay and that data is called as a artificially generated data as that artificially synthetic and fake data okay so always remember one thing that in the generative ai topic we are going to generate the huge volume of data in terms of images video audio and the text data and that data is generated artificially data okay synthetic it is also called as synthetic and fake data now please tell me the image which i am showing in this presentation is a real image or a fake image please tell me it is look like real image or what how what is your opinion on this okay somaya somaya is telling this is a fake image can you please tell me how, why you are telling this is a fake image it might a real image also can you please tell me divya is telling fake image shafia is telling fake image you are telling as it is or you are telling by guessing i am telling that this is a real image my opinion is this is a real image what about your opinion guys please tell me what is your opinion now i am telling this is a real image okay now you so many people writing in the chat window that this is a fake image so those who are telling the fake image because of what purpose surya is telling this is a fake because this is ai generated image tell me why you are telling this is a fake image from which point of view you are telling the fake image this is a real or fake this is the question now i am asking to everyone okay please tell me those who are telling the fake i am asking them why it is fake image jagdesh please tell me how you are telling that this is a fake image no answer okay can you tell me this video is audible to you people or not please tell me i am running the video is this audible to you people or not tell me i am not morgan freeman what you see is not real well at least in contemporary can you hear the video audio of this video okay now i am running the full video now okay in terms of it i am not morgan freeman what you see is not real well at least in contemporary terms it is not what if i were to tell you that i am not even a human being would you believe me what is your perception of reality is it the ability to capture process and make sense of the information our senses receive if you can see hear taste or smell something does that make it real or is it simply the ability to feel 
I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? Now tell me, this is a real video or fake video? Tell me. Any answer? Monica is telling fake. On what basis you people are telling fake? I am telling this is a real video. And all of the student is telling fake, fake, fake. I am telling this is a real. And the person, the students are directly telling fake, fake. I am very much shocked to know that without uh, thinking, you are directly giving your opinion. Those who are telling that this is a fake, I want to know the answer from you. Why it is fake? Tell me the answer. I want your logical answer. Those who are telling it is a fake, please tell me why it is a fake. Najima is telling movement. Which movement? Again, I am playing this video. Please check it. It is real or fake. Okay, please check it and I want your logical reasoning for that. I am running from starting. I am not Morgan Freeman. What you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. Now, what do you see? So the guys, the things which I am showing to you, this is this video and this image. And the topic which we are learning is today is generative AI. Full form of generative AI is it is generating images, video, audio, text in such a way that it looks so much real that we become, we people become full on that. Okay. We become, become full on that. Now I am teaching you the definition of generative AI. And I'm going to show you something now. I'm stopping sharing my screen. And again, I want to show you something that please tell me what is the thing behind that. Okay. I'm showing you something now. Okay. I'm now sharing my screen. <coughs> Please tell me what about this image? Tell me what about this image? What is your opinion on this image? It is a real image, wonderful, great. Again, I am refreshing. Tell me that what is this image about now? Wonderful things I am going to show you. Now, again, I am sharing this. Please tell me, real or fake? Real. Okay, great. Now let me come back to our definition of generative AI. Again, I am repeating the definition of generative AI. Generative AI definition is like this. Okay. Please concentrate on the word now. Generative AI. AI full form is artificial intelligence. 
So generative meaning is that it is going to generate the data in which form images, video, audio, text and music in such a way that it look real. Its main responsibility is that it is generating data which look like real and that data which is generated in terms of image, video, audio, text is never existed before. It is generating new data but it looks so much real that we become full. We are becoming full. So it is generating data artificially. Hence that topic is called as generative artificial intelligence. And let me tell you now one thing very interesting. These images which I am showing to you. Now the people those who are telling fake might be they are telling without any knowledge. But the answer is real. Actually these all images are fake. Okay. I was telling it is real real but I am playing with you people intentionally. I wanted to know what you are telling. So actually this image is generated by AI. Hence this website name is this person does not exist.com. This is the name of website. If you will go to Google and write down this person does not exist. Okay. So this page will open. And every time this you will refresh this you will get such kind of images. Okay. You will get such type of images. So see how real this is. No one can, if I will take the hard copy of this photograph and I will send it to you. So it is very hard to imagine that this is a fake image. Yes or no guys? Even though I am working into the AI field, this look like very real. I will get full. Yes or no? Tell me honestly from your mind. It look like real or not? But it is fake. But it is fake. Same thing, the same images which I showed in my presentation is the fake image. So the thing is that who is behind this entire technology? What terminology is behind in entire technology? So very simple guys. Terminology is very simple. Okay. This terminology are called as deep learning terminology, deep learning world. So across entire technology is deep learning. So this is also fake image. This is also the fake video and so on. Now I want to show you that this generative AI technology main responsibility is to generate the new data which look like real and it is produced artificially. So I am coming to that point now. Actually this entire generative AI depend on this factor. I am coming directly there majorly. Okay, then we will go ahead on that. Let me come directly to that so that we can learn so many good things today. Okay guys, so today we are going to learn the deep learning on which generative AI technology totally depend. Deep learning technology motivation come from our biological neuron. Actually we people are learning which topic artificial intelligence. So let me open the whiteboard so that you can understand very clearly. Concentrate carefully. I am sharing my whiteboard. Let me give you some insight from that. Please let me know my whiteboard is visible now. Okay, guys. Now, let me tell you one very important thing here. Okay. From basics, I am going to teach you so that you can have a clear understanding. Any student from any background can understand that. Now, concentrate carefully. We are learning AI, artificial intelligence, AI. Okay. Artificial intelligence is having two words. One is artificial, one is intelligence. What is our duty inside the company? We have to provide intelligence to machine artificially. Or in other words, we have to create intelligent machine. I am. I am full form is intelligent machine. We have to create an intelligent machine which behave, act like human. Which behave and act like human. So finally we are creating such a machine which is having human intelligence. 
सो फाइनली वी आर कंपेरिंग मशीन इंटेलिजेंस विथ ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस एच आय कॉन्सन्ट्रेट केयरफुली एच आय कंपेरिंग मशीन इंटेलिजेंस विथ ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस सो वी केम टू नो दैट मशीन इंटेलिजेंस आर फार फार अहेड देन ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस इन मेनी कैटेगरी वन एग्जाम्पल आई विल गिव यू मशीन इंटेलिजेंस आर फार फार अहेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ फास्टर मैथमेटिकल कैलक्युलेशन ओके फास्टर मैथमेटिकल कैलक्युलेशन ओके वेर एज ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस आर फार फार अहेड एज कम्पेयर टू मशीन इंटेलिजेंस इन मेनी अदर कैटेगरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी ह्यूमन कैन फील द इमोशंस वेर मशीन कैन नॉट ओके वेर मशीन कैन नॉट सो कैन यू पीपल प्लीज टेल मी अदर कंपेरिजन वेर मशीन इंटेलिजेंस आर फार फार अहेड डेन ह्यूमन ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस एनी एग्जाम्पल एक्चुअली वी आर क्रिएटिंग द इंटेलिजेंट मशीन दैट इज कॉल एज मशीन इंटेलिजेंट वी आर ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंट नाउ वेन वी विल कंपेयर मशीन इंटेलिजेंट विद ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंट कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी इन विच कैटेगरी मशीन आर फार फार अहेड डेन अस सॉरी टेल मी गाइस एनी आइडिया सॉरी ओके फास्टर मैथमेटिकल कैलक्युलेशन एंड सो ऑन ओके ऑन विच कैटेगरी ह्यूमन इंटेलिजेंस आर फार फार राइट देन मशीन इंटेलिजेंस इन विच कैटेगरी in which category we humans can feel the emotion where machine cannot we human can feel the taste of food where machine cannot so the thing is guys currently in the world there is no machine available those who can beat our human intelligence that means human intelligence is greater than machine intelligence currently okay so currently whatever the technology you are enjoying that technology is not having that much intelligent that can beat our human intelligence okay so that kind of technology currently in the world is called as artificial weak intelligence awi artificial weak intelligence or artificial narrow intelligence ani artificial weak intelligence or artificial narrow intelligence means in this awi artificial weak intelligence whatever the machine intelligence are present it is not having that capability to beat human so currently our world is going through awi phase artificial weak intelligent phase okay then secondary scientists are very optimistic that one day will come so in this first phase hi human intelligence is greater than machine intelligence now scientists are very optimistic that one day will come where h i is equal to m i one day will come where h i will be equal to m i that means machine intelligence is equal to human intelligence that means machine can feel the emotions machine can taste the food of uh, can feel the taste of food and so on that kind of intelligence will be called as agi artificial general intelligence remember this one day will surely come in future where machine intelligence is equal to human intelligence now scientists are very optimistic that one day will come which is dangerous where human intelligence will be less than machine intelligence that means machine intelligence will overtook human that kind of intelligence is called as asi artificial super intelligence artificial super intelligence so the thing is in this entire process we are having three kind of artificial intelligence technology artificial general intelligence artificial super intelligence and artificial narrow intelligence so it directly indicate that machine intelligence get inspired from human intelligence hi hence from this only deep learning technology came into picture to make a intelligent machine we have to first check how human is working how our human brain is working so our human brain is working on the basis of one word that is called as biological neuron bn biological neuron inside our human body 
there are billion of biological neuron billions billions of biological neuron guys okay inside our human body so that look like this let me show you that this one okay so biological neuron inside the human body look like this and in this biological neuron only by taking the inspiration from biological neuron artificial neuron made so that we can make a technology called google driverless car deep learning and so on so in this biological neuron working of biological neuron is very simple there is only three term in the biological neuron dendrite cell body and axon again i am repeating dendrite cell body and axon so in the dendrite major working is that it will receive the signal from other neuron inside our human body there are billions of biological neuron one biological neuron is communicating with other biological neuron so in this part in the dendrite it will receive the signal from other biological neuron always remember then the signal which is received by the biological neuron is get added in the cell body and after that whatever the resultant signal will come it is transfer via axon to other neuron so mot motivation is that from the biological neuron there are the three major term dendrite cell body and axon and scientists has taken the inspiration from biological neuron okay and biological neuron has three term dendrite cell body and axon from this scientists has taken the inspiration to make the first artificial neuron of the world that is called as perceptron now i am going to guide you how perceptron is working but before going ahead please tell me are you understanding or it is going above the head tell me that are you understanding or going above the head yes please tell me understanding now concentrate carefully okay now we are having the biological neuron now biological neuron we learn so from biological neuron we have taken the inspiration and we made the perceptron first artificial neuron which look like this in the perceptron we are having input okay this is the one input this is the second input this is the third input so this is the neuron only it is receiving the input for example input are x1 x2 and x3 these are the three input okay these are the three input x1 x2 x3 now the working of neuron is like this it is divided into three part one two and three concentrate so in the very first part first level of working is that how many input in this perceptron we are having perceptron can have 1 lakh input also 1 crore infinite input also in this how many input perceptron is having neuron how many input 3 what is the name of those input x1 x2 x3 so concentrate carefully how it is working to every input we are having one weight associated with that w1 w2 and w3 to every input we are having the weight associated guys okay always remember to every input we are having the weight associated and we have denoted x1 weight is w1 x2 weight is w2 x3 weight is w3 this w1 w2 w3 is nothing but one random number w1 w2 and w3 is nothing but one random number weight weight of that okay so at the first part of the perceptron this working is going on we are multiplying each weight with their input so it will become like that x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 okay x3 w3 
So this is the first part of the perceptron. This is the first part. Remember that this is the first part. Okay. Once we have multiplied every weight with the input x1, x2, x3 like this. So we will get one number out, out of this multiplication. We will get one number out of that. That number is sent to the second part of the perceptron, second part. In the second part, we are adding one constant here that is called as bias. So we are adding that bias here plus b. Plus b now. Okay. After adding this b, which is the constant to this number, again, whatever the number we will get, we will pass to the final third part of the body that is called as activation function AF. Activation function. So whatever the answer we will get from this entire x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus b, that final answer we are sending it to activation function AF. And there are so many types of activation function. Okay. One of the activation function is called as sigmoid activation function, sigmoid. Sigmoid activation function. The formula of sigmoid activation function is 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus x. This is the formula. So whatever the answer we are getting, we are putting in place of x. Suppose we are getting the answer 2. So we are writing like that 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus 2. Okay, like this. So if you will put any value in this formula 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus x, you will always get the answer in between 0 and 1. So finally, we will get the answer in between 0 and 1 here. That is the working of perceptron. That is first artificial neuron of the world. Okay, always remember. This is the working. Might be it is going above your head. Don't worry. It is very easy. Okay, it is very easy. The moment you will give some time here, you will understand that. So this is called as the perceptron artificial neuron of the world. Now I want to ask one question to all of you. Please tell me. If in our human body there is only one biological neuron present, then our human body will function. Tell me. Will our human body will function if only one biological neuron is present inside our human body? Same thing here. If only one perceptron is there, we cannot make the big project. Hence, we are using multi-layer perceptron. MLP. Multi-layer perceptron. Multi-layer perceptron means number of perceptron together. This is one perceptron, second perceptron, third perceptron. Then again, there are the two perceptron in the other layer and one perceptron here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six perceptron here. So, Multi-layer perceptron is divided into three layer. Input layer, hidden layer and output layer. Multi-layer perceptron is divided into three layer. Input layer, hidden layer and output layer. In the input layer, there are three neuron. One, two, three, that is perceptron, which is a neuron only. In the hidden layer, there are two neurons and the output one neuron. So the input layer three neuron is connected with hidden layer two neuron like this. Like this. Like this. Okay. So now this is called as multi-layer perceptron where multiple perceptron connected together to form one network. Hence, this is called as Artificial Neural Network, ANN. And with the help of ANN, we are solving so many <coughs> business problems of the world. So, multiple perceptrons are connected together okay, to form the network. Okay. So, the thing is that inside one perceptron, there are five parameters. Weight, bias and activation function. And so on. Okay, so this is the perceptron guys. 
okay single one circle is one perceptron this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth so in the network in the entire network we are having six perceptron six perceptron okay this is that part so remember this guys now i want to ask one question to all of you one perceptron is having only one bias always remember this is one bias in the second term this we are adding in the perceptron to this equation but one perceptron can have three input more than three input one lakh input one crore input and the weight associated with the perceptron is depend on input so if three input perceptron is having then weight associated with that always remember if perceptron is having three inputs so three weights are associated with that so tell me in this perceptron in this hidden layer one in this hidden layer this perceptron okay this one plus concentrate this one how many input this perceptron is having i am talking about this one how many input it is getting three so how many weight associated here three weight so in this perceptron we are having three weight okay very good now same thing i am talking about this perceptron now this one second one this one how many weight how many input this perceptron is having three very good very good so both perceptron is having three three weight and three input so it will have a three weight remember that if this first perceptron is having three input so it is having three weight it is having three input so it is having three weight remember this now tell me this perceptron again is having how many bias one very good one bias very good and tell me this perceptron bottom one how many bias in this perceptron one very good so now in the hidden layer one if we will calculate total number of weight are six and total number of bias are two because three weight are for first neuron three weight for second neuron three plus three six one weight for this neuron and one weight for this neuron so it is two it is two okay so in this way what we are having total number of weight and biases in this hidden layer now in this output neuron one neuron is there how many input this neuron is having how many input this neuron is having two so two weights are here and how many bias this neuron will have one so in this neuron there are two weight and one bias two w and one b so now this weight and bias is called as parameters guys parameter always remember together the weight and biases in the neural network is called as parameter okay six bias in and two weight sorry six weight and two bias in the hidden layer one so in the hidden layer one total number of parameters are eight in the output layer total number of parameter are three okay total number of parameter are three always remember in the input input layer there are total number of parameters are eight three weight and two bias in the output layer the parameter is three in the input layer always remember there is no parameter zero parameter again i am repeating in the hidden layer we are having two perceptron first perceptron is receiving three input so three weight one input per weight second perceptron is receiving three input so three weight here so in the first layer we are having six weight and this perceptron is having one bias this perceptron is having one bias so two bias similarly output layer is receiving two input so two weight and one bias so totally in the entire network if we will calculate we are having total 11 weight and biases total 11 weight and biases that is called as total 11 parameter in the network always remember total 11 parameter in the network remember this so this is a small overview i am telling to you that see how this network is working on this part so the thing is 
प्लीज कॉन्सन्ट्रेट नाव दिस इज द वर्किंग ऑफ परसेप्टर आई टोल टू चेक इट दिस आर द थ्री वेट मल्टीप्लाई टू द इनपुट गेट एडेड बायस इज एडेड एंड गिवन टू एक्टिवेशन फंक्शन एंड फाइनली यू आर गेटिंग द आउटपुट ओके दिस इज दैट टर्म्स दिस इज सिंगल परसेप्ट्रॉन एंड इन द सिंगल परसेप्ट्रॉन वी आर हैविंग वेट बायस एंड एक्टिवेशन फंक्शन एंड देन आई एम कमिंग टू मल्टीलेयर परसेप्ट्रॉन मल्टीलेयर परसेप्ट्रॉन लुक लाइक दिस चेक इट कैन एनी वन टेल मी आई एम गिविंग यू फिफ्टीन मिनिट्स ऑफ टाइम प्लीज टेल मी इन दिस हिडन लेयर वन हाउ मेनी वेट एंड हाउ मेनी बायस हिडन लेयर टू हाउ मेनी वेट एंड हाउ मेनी बायस and in the output layer how many weight and how many bias i am giving you 15 minute of time this is assignment to you people and tell me how many weight and biases in the network okay i am giving you 15 1 5 15 minutes of time i want total number of weight and biases in hidden one hidden layer one hidden layer two and output layer tell me take the 15 minutes of time I am giving you fifteen minutes of time, guys. Yeah, just a second. I am giving you fifteen minutes of time. Solve this assignment, okay, guys? Ah, uh, yeah.
प्लीज कैलकुलेट टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेट एंड बाइसेस इन हिडन लेयर वन हिडन लेयर टू एंड आउटपुट लेयर एंड वी विल चेक आफ्टर फाइव टू टेन मिनिट्स ओके गाइस लेट्स कैलकुलेट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेट एंड बायसेस इन दैट नेटवर्क द नेटवर्क इज लाइक दिस ओके इन द इनपुट लेयर देयर वेर थ्री न्यूरॉन थ्री परसेप्ट्रॉन इन द हिडन लेयर वन इट वाज फोर लाइक दिस इन द हिडन लेयर टू आल्सो फोर एंड इन द आउटपुट लेयर टू okay so the network is connected like this this neuron of input layer is connected to all four neuron like this this is also connected to all the four neuron like this it is also connected to all the four neuron like this okay same thing here in the hidden layer one it is connected to all four neuron like this same thing this is connected to all four neuron like this same thing this one also i am saying this one also and now this is connected to both this is also to both this is also to both like this okay 
so guys please tell me in this is input layer input layer have no weight and biases always remember only input value this is hidden layer 1 this is hidden layer 2 this is output layer now let tell me this in the hidden layer 1 there are 4 neuron hidden layer 2 also 4 neuron and in the output layer 2 neuron okay so tell me in the hidden layer 1 okay in the hidden layer 1 there are 4 neuron so this first neuron is having how many input tell me three so how many weight associated with the first neuron how many weight with the first three very good so i am writing here three w and how many biases this first neuron is having bias one so one bias i am writing like this same thing this is the second neuron third neuron and the fourth neuron second neuron is having how many input three so how many weight three weight how many biases in the second neuron one bias very good now come here to the third one in the third neuron how many input in the third neuron how many input three input very good so how many bias three bias and how many weight sorry three weight three weight and one bias in the fourth neuron how many input in the fourth neuron three how many bias one bias so three weight and one bias okay three weight and the one bias similarly in the second hidden neuron this neuron first neuron is receiving how many input four very good so here four weight and one bias Similarly, the second neuron having the input, four input, four weight and one bias. This third also, four weight and one bias. This four also, four weight and one bias. Now finally, output neuron. This neuron is receiving how many input? Four. So four weight and one bias. Here also four weight and one bias. Okay, now come to the final picture. So it indicate that in the hidden neuron, hidden layer one, there are four neuron and each neuron is having three weight and one bias. So total number of weight are 12 weight and four bias in hidden layer one. In hidden layer two, we are having four neuron. Each neuron is having four weight, one bias. So here we are having 16 weight and four bias and in the final we are having two neuron which is having four four weight each we are having eight weight and two bias okay so now 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 4 20 8 plus 2 10 so total is 20 36 46 so 46 weight and biases are present in this network so let me check who has given the correct answer before okay so many students have given the answer before my explanation let me check that someone has given total biases are 8 so wrong. So Mia, you have calculated wrong. Something wrong you have calculated. Okay. Let me check other one. Guljar has given 13 plus 8 wrong. Raj has given the answer 20 weight plus 8 bias. Output 8 weight plus 2 bias. 28 plus 8, 36. Raj has given the correct answer. Very good, Raj. Very good. I appreciate you. So in this way, now this 46 weight and biases is also called as parameter 46 parameters are there 
सो हेन्स यू नो चैट जीपीटी सो इन द चैट जीपीटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इट इज हाइविंग वन सेवेंटी फाइव बिलियन पैरामीटर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच पैरामीटर इट विल बी बिलियन वन सेवेंटी फाइव बिलियन पैरामीटर इट इज हाइविंग ओके वन सेवेंटी फाइव बिलियन पैरामीटर गाइस I hope that you heard about the chat GPT parameters. So that parameters are nothing but weight and biases value only. Weight and biases value, guys. One seventy five billion parameter. Wonderful. Are you getting or not? Is this clear to everyone? Please tell me. Okay, great. So what we will do? I will guide you this. How we are going to solve the project on this part? okay and uh, please fill the feedback form uh, if, you, if you are understanding good so give the good feedback and uh, i will try my level best to explain all this in the very easy way and the clear way okay let me know if you have any doubt okay ppt we can't share because of some confidential issue we will share content of that don't worry feedback link we will share soon anyone is present from the black book uh, can we share the feedback link we are waiting for feedback link just wait for a moment guys any doubt you are having and also you can feel free connect to me in the linkedin also this is my linkedin profile yes khalid please ask the doubt if you have any doubt please ask me the doubt project yes yes project we will guide you soon we will guide you all the project okay don't worry we were just checking ha uh, what is the difference between machine learning and deep learning huge difference that i am going to guide you in the next session okay this is the difference between machine learning and deep learning i have started this part so this is the difference between machine learning and deep learning actually machine learning is not working good on the unstructured data that is high volume of data when the number of data column are more in the data machine learning get failed and deep learning is getting good performance actually always remember okay so machine learning performance degraded on the large volume of data it is curse of dimensionality that is curse of column if columns are more machine learning get failed and feature extraction that is the main part so this is the difference difference between llm and deep learning is that llm born from the deep learning llm is a large language model large language model born from the deep learning this is that part if you want to learn llm so you want to follow this road map this is that road map so this gpt3 is llm only and llm depend on the deep learning llm depend on the deep learning remember this okay so this is that part guys very easy it is very easy any doubt guys please tell me that's all from my side today if you have any doubt let me know i am waiting here for the other part the difference between nlp and nltk is that natural language processing is the concept and nltk is the library nltk is the library khalid i cannot provide this note this is company property i am working in other company not blackbuck but i will provide you the note content content means the information of that notes don't worry i will provide that okay great
एनी डाउट गाइस प्लीज आस्क मी any kind of doubt please tell me so that i can help you out नो डाउट गाइस ग्रेट एन एल टी पे वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एन एल टी पी जोनाथन फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम आई एम हियरिंग एन एल टी पी साई आर यू देर साई कैन यू सेंड मी द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप लिंक some student is asking हम्म ओके इफ देर इज नो मोर डाउट गाइस देन वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल सी द प्रोजेक्ट्स सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर राइटिंग अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट सो श्योर वी विल हैव अ लिस्ट ऑन ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट लिस्ट सो दैट यू कैन गेट दैट ओके नो वरी ऑन दैट पार्ट यू विल एंजॉय अवर लॉट डोंट वरी Any doubt? Please let me know. So that I can guide you. those who know the deep learning topic we can do the project in deep learning also but you should know that okay any doubt guys soon rajesh five to six session is remaining last five to six sessions are there
no more doubt so we can wind up the session and we will meet in the next session attendance sheet i am not having someone from the black bag it might be having sushma akula what is your doubt feedback link also i am not having right now i think black box is need to share that anyone from the black box currently please let me know if anyone from the black box please let me know anyone from the black box so that we can send a feedback link Anyone guys having any doubt, let me know. If you people have any doubt, please let me know. If no more doubt, we can wind up the session. Machine learning, it will take five months of time. If you want to learn in deep, if you want to learn deep, five months of course. The present demanding software course is prompt engineering. You can learn the prompt engineering in detail. Okay. Those who will not learn AI, surely the problem is for those people. Those who will not learn AI, problem will be for those people. And those who want to follow me, you can follow with this ID. I am available here, guys. This is my LinkedIn ID. Those who are asking about my LinkedIn ID. So please, this is my LinkedIn ID. You can follow me. Okay, this is my LinkedIn ID. You can follow me here. Okay. Great. So thank you guys. Okay. If there is no more doubt, we will meet day after tomorrow. Okay. We will meet day after tomorrow. Feedback link is not available now. We will fill the feedback field in the next. No one is present from the black book today, I guess. I don't know where they are. Otherwise, we can send it to the feedback link to you. Yes, yes, Sushma, it is a dinner time. I know everyone is waiting for dinner. I am waiting for the feedback link actually. But link is not available. Anyone from the black box, those who can share the link, please share here. It's not opening. Let it be. We will fill the feedback link in the next, I guess. Okay. No worry. Let's meet in the next session, guys. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next session. Take care.